are going to have a go yourself. I have found a DIY post and rail system where the engineering behind it means you won't be calling that tradesman. But the best thing of all, there are no screws or nails. All you need is some timber sleepers, these retainer posts, some concrete, a level, a shovel. And the last thing on your list is a string line. This will keep your wall nice and straight. Now, as you can see here, this has been a great little weekend project for me. I did this yesterday and I'm going to finish it off today. On the high end, we've got a 75 mil thick sleeper. And then, because this is not retaining as much, the veggie patch will just have a 50 mil sleeper. Now, these only go up to 600 mil high, but if you need to go higher than that, then make sure you check with your local council. You can get three types of heavy duty, high tensile, galvanised posts from White's Outdoor, depending on what you need. There is this joiner post for creating straight lines, the 90 degree corner post, and this end post, which gives you a neat and tidy finish. Now dig your holes for the post. A general rule is to make the holes as deep as the height of the wall. So if you're building a wall at 600, you have 600 out of the ground and in the ground. Once your hole is dug, level your post in the position you want it and then pour in the concrete. Once you've installed all your posts, measure and cut your sleepers and then it's as simple as sliding the sleeper timber rails in between your posts. Much better does this look? So much better than that old concrete wall. And this retain it system, great little Australian design, has a nice little curved edge on it and this helps hold the sleeper in place and allows for shrinkage and expansion over time.